This video will demonstrate how to grade and return student work in Google Classroom. So here I am in my Google Classroom and you'll see here that I have an assignment that's coming up to be due and what I want to do is go ahead and grade the student work that has been submitted in this assignment. You'll notice that on the assignment pane here on the classroom stream I can tell how many students have completed the work and how many students have not completed the work. For a more detailed view, I can click on the assignment's title. On this screen, on the left-hand side of the page, I will see a list of all students who have completed the assignment and students who have not completed the assignment. On the right side of the screen, I'll see that summary, one done, one not done, and here I see all of the assignments. If I click the arrow to the right of the word all, it'll allow me to view only the assignments that have been submitted by students, assignments that have not been submitted by students, or all assignments. To check a student's submission history of one particular assignment, I can click the student's name, and then on the right side of the screen, I'll see their assignment and then a link that says Submission History. If I click the, click the link for Submission History, it will show me when the student turned in the assignment. To leave feedback on the student's assignment, I can click on the name of the assignment, and then I'll be taken into the document. As I'm reviewing the document, if I would like to leave a comment, I can click on the text or image I'd like to comment on, then click the Comments button in the top right corner of the screen and click the word Comment. A comment box will be displayed to the right of the text you wish to comment on. As the teacher, you then can leave your piece of feedback and click Comment to leave the student a comment. Many teachers will have their score, a hard copy of their scoring guide right beside them while they are reviewing the student's assignments. Other teachers may have a digital scoring guide that they are filling out as they grade the student work. Once you're finished reviewing and scoring the student work, you can click the X to close that tab and go back to the classroom. At the top of the screen, you see that I have selected 75 points for this assignment value. If I click the arrow, I can choose a predetermined point amount, select ungraded, or type in my own point value for an assignment. When I'm ready to grade the student's work, I click where it says Add Grade, type their score, and hit Enter. Now I can choose to return an individual student's assignment by checking the box next to the student's name and clicking the Return button or I can wait until the due date has come and gone and I've graded all students' work to return all of them at once. Two additional features of the student work section of the teacher page is that a teacher can send emails to students by clicking the envelope at the top of the page and then Gmail will automatically open up with an email address to the student or students that were listed that whose names were checked. Also, if a teacher clicks the gear in the top right corner of the screen, they'll be able to download the grades from this assignment or all assignments as an Excel spreadsheet. This has been a brief demonstration on how to grade and return student work in Google Classroom.